Hello and welcome back to another computer sluggish tutorial. Okay, so today we're going to take a look at protecting ourselves from any viruses, malware or anything that is horrible on the internet that could cause some problems on our computer or still any information or anything that we don't want them to. Okay, so I am using Windows 10 but this will work on any Windows operating system. Okay. So yeah, right, so first you need to open up your web browser and we are going to download a program called Malwarebytes. So the link is in the description below and it's at malwarebytes.org and you will end up on a page that looks like this. Okay, so we want to make sure we got four homes selected. Okay, as you can see there and we're going to go to download. Okay, and we want to select the download free version. Okay, so we don't want to pay for this unless you really like the program and you decide in the future that you want to pay for the program, then you can. You do get some extra features for this, but we will go into details later about that. Right, so I'm going to now save this file. Okay, and I'm now going to run that.exe. Okay, so I'm going to make sure I've got English selected and I'm going to go OK. Okay, so we're now going to go right next. I accept next and we're going to go next again and next as long as you want to install it on your C drive that is. Okay, and we're going to go next and next <laughs> and install. Okay, so Malwarebytes is now installed. Okay, right, so this is very important, this part, okay? Right, so we don't want to enable the free trial on Malware Bytes, okay? If you select that option, then you will have to pay, okay? So after about, I don't know, it's probably 30 days to trial. After that, it will obviously stop working the program and come up to pay. So we want to keep it free, so we're going to deselect that. And for now, unselect launch, okay? We don't want to launch malware bytes just yet, so we're going to go finish now, okay? And we're now going to head back over to our web browser, now that's installed, and we're going to go to a site where we can download CCleaner. Okay, so basically what this program does is it just removes any rubbish that is on your computer, so... It'll remove any temporary internet files. It, it'll remove any like Windows temporary location files and stuff like that. So anyway, so we want to download that now. And we're going to run this program before we run Malwarebytes. Okay, so we're going to save that file. And we're going to run that .exe now. Okay, and we're going to go next. And I'm going to deselect the two options because I don't want CCleaner to come up when I right click on my recycling bin. Okay. And I'm going to turn off automatically check for updates. But I would suggest you keep that enabled. Okay. It's only because I quite often check myself if they've got any new updates. Okay. But I'm going to select unselect that. So now go install. Okay, so as you can see, it's extracting ccleaner.exe now. Okay, and there we go. Right. So you now want to run ccleaner. So I'm going to run that. So select finish. And as you can see, it has selected some default options. Okay, so let's maximize that and make it easier for you to see there. Okay, so obviously only select on your web browser only select so on the Internet Explorer only select the things that you want to remove so ie you don't want to remove your saved passwords or your form history okay otherwise you have to re-enter all that information again okay and that can be quite annoying but temporary internet files history cookies we want to remove all that because if if you're using that browser Internet Explorer and a bit of malware or spyware or something, it's more than likely going to go in your temporary internet files location, okay? You can get a lot of files and um, a lot of viruses located in temporary folders, okay? 
So, let's just um, keep it basic for now. I don't want to go into too much depth with the advanced options and that. But we can definitely look into that in another tutorial. If you comment below and you'd like me to go into more depth about all that, then yeah, I will do, okay? So, also here we've got applications. So, as you can see, I've got Firefox installed, okay? So, we want it to clear out the internet history for that as well in case there's any viruses in there. Right, so, I'm now going to run the cleaner on there. Okay, so select Run Cleaner and go OK. Okay, so as you can see, it's now cleaning everything, okay? So I do need to close my Firefox web browser for it to be able to clean the internet cache. That's perfectly normal. So I'm going to go Yes and close the tabs. That's fine. Okay, so let it do its thing. Right, that's fine. Okay, right. Um, let's force it to close. There we go. Right. That's spot on. Okay. So as you can see, it's cleaned 891 meg. Okay. Of Wow. That's how much space it's freed on my computer. So that's one extra bonus of doing this. Okay. So in there, there could have been a virus. That's just something we will never know. But that will certainly help. Okay get rid of any viruses so we're now going to close um, CCleaner and we're going to double click on malware bytes okay so open that up now so that's part one of removing any viruses or malware on your computer okay so it's just checking for updates now so let's make sure we got latest database and okay right so I think that just updated yeah it did Okay, so yeah, there's no new update, so that's absolutely fine, okay? And as you can see, we are running the free version, so we've done everything perfectly fine. If you do upgrade, you do get real-time protection. But don't worry about that for a second, because I am. we are going to install some virus protection, so we never get any viruses ever again. We will do that after doing a scan on this program. So let's go to scan now. And make sure your threat scan is selected. And also, as you can see, for premium only, you do get hyper scan. Okay, if you'd like me to show off these extra features in another video, then comment below and I most certainly will. I'm happy to do that. So for now, we're just going to do the default threat scan. So we're going to select start scan. Okay, so it just checked for updates then at the start anyway, so that's fine. So, as you can see, it's just doing its pre-scan operations now. And then it's going to scan our memory, scan the startup file. So, anything that starts up on our computer. And then scan our registry and file system. Okay, and then we'll see what it's found on our computer and what we need to remove. Okay, so. So far, so good. It's not actually detected any threats as of yet. Okay, so this is the point where it's more likely going to find a threat, okay? So it's scanning our syst well, our file system now, okay? But remember, we did just use CCleaner and we removed a lot of temporary files. So hopefully, it won't find anything, okay? So let's just watch this scan through. Okay, so now the scan is complete. Hopefully, you'll have it's been successful, okay? So that means you're in the clear pretty much, okay? So that is really good news, okay? But if you are unfortunate enough to have detected some threats, then you should have a little checkbox on round here and you can select what threats you would like to remove, okay? So select all the threats and then I... I mean, if it's detected it as a threat, it is pretty much guaranteed to be a threat, okay? I wouldn't see why it wouldn't be, unless you deliberately want that threat to be on your computer. But yeah, so remove the threat, and then once you've done that, we're going to finish, and we are now going to close Malwarebytes, and we're going to open up our web browser again, okay? And you now need to type in a fast... Okay, and it's free anti-virus security. So the link is in the description. 
Okay, so don't go to any third party websites or anything like that because you will pick up viruses like that as well. So it's a fast.com and we're going to download this now and we want the free download. Okay, so we now need to go save file. Okay, and we're going to run the .exe. Okay, so close my web browser now. So as you can see, it's loading up now. Very, that's quite a cool loading screen actually. So I am going to go customize because I always like to check what I am installing. Okay, so okay, so everything there looks absolutely fine. So we're going to go ahead and select install. Okay, so down the bottom right hand corner here, you can see a fast is now installing. Okay, so this is the last step now of detecting if you have any viruses and also protecting ourselves from any in the future. So yeah, this is this is the main one here. This is to protect us in the future. Okay, so we never get any other viruses. Okay, so it's almost done now. Anytime soon. Okay, so as you can see, it's dumped the logo now, a shortcut on my desktop there. So that's good, right? So you are protected. Okay, wicked. So as you can see down the bottom right corner, it is now on our computer. So we are now protected, right? So I don't want to install it on my mobile phone, so I'm going to select no. Okay, and yeah, there it is, right? So. First things first, I suggest you run a smart scan. So we're going to select that now quick. And as you can see, it's now scanning for any viruses. It's going to scan for any outdated software on our computer, any network threats. It's just going to scan absolutely everything now, okay? So, okay, so we've got some outdated software, apparently, but that's fine. Okay, so it's just scanning for some network threats now. Okay, so now as you can see, that's all done. So um, if we just select resolve all, okay, I'm not going to bother updating any of that software there. So I'm going to skip that. And then also still found some junk files. So obviously we didn't select everything in C Cleaner. So that wouldn't have picked a couple of those bits up. And also some unnecessary apps and some system settings it can tweak but i'm going to skip that as well i'm i'm not interested in that i'm only here for viruses okay so that should be everything but if you're still not happy there is one last thing you can do if you still think there's something lurking on your computer so if you select scan and then go down to scan for viruses Okay, and then select, um, you can go for a full system scan, okay, so this performs an in-depth scan of the system, okay, so this will take a very long time and I'm not going to select the start button because I'll be here for ages doing that, okay, so you can do that and then also as well, may I suggest you can do boot time scan, okay, so see after clicking the start button a boot time scan will run automatically on your system startup so when you next turn on your computer you're basically instead of it booting up windows it boot up this like different screen it won't even go into windows at all okay and then you'll basically get bars going across and yeah it'll be checking for viruses that way as well and that way the virus can't boot up with Windows and try and trick the antivirus program into thinking it's not actually a virus, okay? So boot time scan is always a good way. Or you can even run a full time, a um, full scan, sorry, in safe mode on Windows, okay? If you still think you've got a virus on your computer. Okay, so... I think I've covered everything. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, then hit that like button below and subscribe for more tutorials, okay?